She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Did you go to the wedding? No, I didn't get an invite to the wedding. Were you surprised? Did you think, no, I wasn't concerned. No. It was beautiful, though. Now, my little supporters, or uh, Portia Williams supporters, they're just asking anything. Why would Molly get an invite to a wedding when she's been dragging Portia? And why would you expect Milo to be surprised? What are these questions? You know? Also, the people who are currently on social media, every single Portia Williams wedding post, they're dragging Kenya into it. That I did a separate video on it that's coming out. So that's why I'm going to put in one comment on the screen because I want to get back to the Instagram live because she was on here for 20 minutes. And she also talked about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. This comment right here on the screen. This person wrote, LOL, Kenya Moore hair care didn't get an invite. So this other person responded, why would she want to go to her wedding? And then that they feel bad for Fallon. But don't feel bad for Fallon. Fallon moved on and she's happy and she's engaged. But it's like, why would Kenya want to go to a Portia Williams wedding? They're not friends. And Kenya doesn't care. Kenya doesn't even talk about the woman. Now I understand miserable Milo who kept bringing her up during the season. But Kenya has paid Portia Williams. I mean, when I say dust, dust. Every single attempt that Portia Williams have made for Kenya to take the bait and dust. Interviews. What do you think about Portia? I wish her well. Social media, posting things in her Instagram stories, the throw jabs, dust. Dust, dust, dust. So let's get back to the Instagram live. How is this season going? Uh, Dior Pharrell, this season is epic. You know, I tell the truth. Um, this season is amazing. It's amazing. You're going to see a lot of ups and downs, twists and turns, truth and lies, uh, acting, realness, crying. You're going to see a little bit of everything, but you are not going to lose. You're not going to want to miss Real Housewives of Atlanta. Seriously, y'all. It's off the chain. It's, you know, you're going to see a lot of hating on Miss Hampton. You know that. You know that. Any new cast members, we do have new uh, faces. You're going to be excited to meet the new faces. Um, you're going to like them. You're going to like them. I think you are. I mean, you're not going to like them, especially she's like me, but you're going to like them. It's a couple new faces. One new face I really am enjoying and I love and I'm really getting to know. So I think you're going to be super excited as well. Do you ever look back at the episodes and feel you could have handled things better or your content with how... Oh my God. Um, let me go back to your name. Yay HHB underscore absolutely. I don't even go back to the episodes. I'm damn embarrassed. I'm like, shit, that was so awful. You could have said that. Oh, shit. thought my glass damn broke or something. I don't know. But no, absolutely. I go back. But one thing I always walk away with when I do go back is that's what I was thinking at the time. And I said what I said. And I was authentic. Now... Now I'm, I'm trying to work on things. I'm trying to think before I speak, but still always still be authentic because being authentic is so important. Why did you unfollow my? Yeah, I did. I, if I did, that was a while back, but guess what? I'm going to follow her back though. And you're just cool. I'm going to follow her back. So I unfollowed. I, mean, I probably unfollowed because I was mad, child. But that wasn't recent. That was like probably last season. Um, how is your house? I'll know about my house in two days. What's going on? Uh, if I'm still going to go through with it, I will give you all the details and the updates on it, okay? Uh, I'm meeting with my builder, so definitely I want you to follow that story. Okay, so let me add some context to the Manetta question real quick. You know how about if you're on social media, especially Instagram, there are always little 
you know, behind the scenes tea or information about the new season being dropped here and there. And one of the stories was that Molly and Mayetta got into this blowout argument and fight or whatever, and that they were no longer following each other is this big deal. And Molly's over here playing nonchalant like it didn't happen. Or if it happened, it was last year. Maybe I was mad, but she's giving off either nothing happened this season or I'm not about to get in trouble by spilling any tea. So I'm just going to pretend like I don't know what you're talking about. And you're just going to have to wait and watch the season. I've already said enough and vaguely, but I'm not going to get into it. So that's where that question came from about Mayetta. Or nothing happened. But Mayetta did say that she and Milo had a blowout again last season. But for some reason, Bravo did not show it. So she and Milo, they have had an up and down relationship. But Bravo decided to not show Mayetta having that incident with Milo. So we shall see. Only time will tell. Do I miss Nene on the show? Absolutely. I mean, come on. When you think of Ross, Spice of Atlanta, you do think of Nene Leakes. She's definitely one of the people you think of. I definitely miss her. But I mean, I just literally talked to her tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, is Candy working this season or is she still laughing and eating? I'll go to the next question. <laughs> Let me see. Other words used for people who are lackluster, mediocre, lack brilliance, dull, and the list goes on and on. So if you're asking the question, is all Candy doing is laughing and eating and not acknowledging her impact on the franchise and her impact from last season and previous season? That's basically what you're calling her. So you don't literally have to say the word. That's what you're calling her. And what happened after that? Milo laughed. So I just had to jump in and say that even though the person did not use the exact word, that's basically what they meant. And Milo been calling Candy that for years. Remember last season when she was doing her press run? Oh, you have to watch and see. I made Candy work for her check this season and all of that. Exactly. Now, one question about Mayetta, she was so quick to be like, oh, that had to be last year. I like Mayetta, not this year. Basically trying to shut down the rumors. But then when it came to Candy, she just laughed and she was quiet. So if she and Candy was on good terms, she was going to say it. Now, most of you remember what Candy said in that video I posted. I'm not posting the clip. Just go to the RHOA playlist to watch it. When she was on Amazon Live and she said how she's just arguing with everyone this season. So if you missed that Amazon Live, go through the playlist and watch it. So I'm not surprised. And also, she and Candy had an interesting season last season because of all of her lies. And so for her to sit here and talk about, I tell the truth. I'm like, girl... Bye. Are you going to long around? So I said, let me see y'all fight too much. We need a season of love, you know. And at the end, she was responding to the question about, you know, people fighting all the time. The Instagram live went off. But what Milo was saying is that, oh, yes, you're going to see everything. You will see, you know, people fighting, but you will also see people coming together and, you know, having some form of sisterhood. So... Yeah, we shall see. As Milo did talk about her nephews and all of that, but I promised I was going to come back with our HOA video and what Milo had to say. And that's the reason why I kept it strictly about the show and did not include all of the other person, the things that she was talking about. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Now, loves, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.